As Asaf from Saudi, he said, sometimes we get people, poor people, coming and asking for financial assistance uh, to marry their daughters. So what's the ruling on that? And I asked him, what do they want? What they want with that financial assistance? And they said they would like to buy gifts to the groom. I know that he's referring to wrong practices in the subcontinent. When Simi men, when they propose to women, these Simi men expect the family of the woman to give them gifts. And they are not real men, let alone real Muslims. A real Muslim undertakes the full financial responsibility from A to Z regarding his marriage. He gets the house, he furnishes the house, he has his own car, he pays for the wedding, and he pays the dowry. These Simi men, who are not real men, and their families are not real practicing Muslims, they are Muslims by tradition, they insist on the girl's family to give the man gifts. So the man sends a bucket list. Yes, I'd like a Toyota Corolla 2021, preferably with a uh, camera and rear view and a navigation uh, screen. And I'd like uh, uh, the air conditioners to be split units. I'd like, what are you doing? A real man doesn't do this, let alone a real Muslim. You are not a real man. You're a wimp. Because if you were a real man, you would refuse any penny to come your way. But you have no shame. You have no honor. Because you don't know Islam, you are related to the Hindus. You're taking their customs and traditions. If you were a man, if you were a Muslim, you would never allow this to happen. Even if they insist. And if they insist, you insist on registering whatever they give in your wife's name, not in your name. So that you would feel honored and proud of being a man. So, unfortunately, a lot of the girls won't be able to get married to such simi men without paying them. In this case, the scholars say that it is permissible to assist them, unfortunately, because this is the least of the two evils. And that is, instead of them staying without marriage, we pay these simi men for uh, uh, their dowry and they get married.